All right, this is going to be a brief run through of how to slice models for the 3D printers in MakeSpace. This is the Cura software. You can either download it and use it yourself at home, but there's also a computer in the MakeSpace which has it installed. When you set it up, make sure to select an Automaker 2 Plus or 2 Plus Extended. These are the two types of printer we have in the MakeSpace. And make sure to always select a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. You can then select the type of material you would like to print, be that PLA or here in the generic menu, ABS. I'm now going to open an STL file that I previously downloaded from the internet. And once it's loaded, it shows up here in this virtual print bed. You can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. You can rotate the view with the right hand, uh, the right mouse button. And if you hold the shift key, you can use the right mouse button to pan the view. The size of the model, as it will be printed, is shown down here in the left hand corner. And when you select the model, you can move it around the build plate. And if you select the other tools here on the left, you can also scale it, or rotate it and mirror it. Rotation is important because the STL might be rotated relative to the build plate depending on how it was generated. Now there's a bunch of preset slicing profiles and they let you uh, select a, a layer height and an infill percentage. So I'm going to slice the model now and notice how I've also got bed adhesion selected here. Now once you've sliced it will tell you an estimate of how long this print will take. The estimate by the Cura software is a lot more accurate than the estimate that the printer itself provides on its little screen. And it'll also tell you how much, how many grams of material this print will take. You click Preview and select Color Scheme Line Type. You will see that the model is now represented as a bunch of different colors depending on what type of um, print, uh, which type of line the printer is putting down in the various places. So, for example, Fill is orange and the outermost layers are red. And any additional material is this light blue color. So, this is the brim that the bed adhesion generates to help the print stick to the glass plate. Now, scrolling through the various layers is something that I would always recommend doing because I catch a lot of mistakes either in my model or in my slicing approach by doing that. Now, if you go to custom, there is a bazillion different settings that you can explore, and I'll leave that to you. But I will show you two here. So one is that instead of a brim, we can also simply use a skirt. And if I slice again, you will see that the blue material is no longer touching the model. So if you don't have any problems with bed adhesion, a skirt will be sufficient to purge the nozzle before the print starts. The other setting I would like to show you is generate supports. So once I click this, a bunch of additional settings show up and you can see that will now generate supports for anything with an overhang angle of more than 50 degrees. So if we slice the model again, you can see that it's taking a lot longer because it needs to print additional material and it's also using more material. And you can see that it's automatically tried to generate supports wherever the overhang is too large or larger, not too large, but larger than the 50 degrees that we've arbitrarily selected here. The final thing that we then need to do is click Save to Disk, and this will then put a G-code file either on your disk or on your removable drive, and then you can take that file to the printer via SD card.